Welcome to From Street to Show on Tech Radio. So it's pretty fast. Are you interested in modifying a car to make it your very own? Dude, where's my car? Today we're going to talk about how to turn heads with your car while you're cruising down the highway. Like, I don't want to drive this no more. Stay tuned for To Street to Show with your host, Caleb. Our guest Sean Collins, local car enthusiast, is here to give us all the best info on how to bring your car from plain and boring to wild and unique. It's good to have you here, Sean. Nice to be here, Caleb. Now, the show Mighty Car Mods talks about making a car yours. Now I know that cars are not the things everyone says they are. They become what we make of them in our minds. Would you say exterior mods are a great way to do this? It can be a good way, yes. Exterior mods is uh, definitely something that I see the car community doing a lot versus uh, something that might potentially be tougher for someone not too mechanically inclined versus uh, engine mods, exhausts, things like that. All right. Now, uh, what is a sleeper that I've heard of before? So the term sleeper comes a, it comes around from a lot of earlier cars, actually, that had um, more premium engines than typically put in a family sedan. A good case of this is the uh, Taurus Show had a um, V8 engine in it and could beat Mustangs around the same time too. All, so. all right. Is there any benefits to having your car be a sleeper as opposed to it being flashy? It depends on what the person's going for. A lot of people like that sleeper status because you're not bringing a lot of attention to yourself, but a lot of people really like that uh, flashy stuff going on. Does one affect the value of the car more than the other? Yes and no to uh, a lot of car enthusiasts. Exterior mods can be a huge benefit to a lot of people. Rims, spoilers, uh, even some carbon fiber pieces are really beneficial, but if you're just someone who doesn't particularly like those things, you just want a car to have a car. All right. Now, uh, what does it mean to lower a car? Lowering a car is lowering the suspension, whether by means of struts, shocks, and things like that. If you completely destroy the towers that those are in, then that's going to get really low. But it all deals with uh, the height that your car lifts off the ground, either from the wheel well or from the bottom base of the car. All right. You're listening to From Street to Show on Tech Radio. Tonight we're speaking with local car enthusiast Sean Collins, who is here to inform us all of the best external modifications. So the guys at Primal Driven, they seem to dislike the idea of lowering a car. All right, so you want to lower your car. Let me give you five reasons and examples of why lowering your car will kind of pretty much suck. What would be one of your reasons for why it's a terrible idea? Well, especially prominent here in the New England region is uh, potholes, speed bumps, and those are all things that you have to worry about when you're driving a car that's lowered. You can scrape around, you can really damage the underneath of your car when it gets too low. Definitely. So some believe that exterior mods are a great, great way to start for people interested in cars. What are your thoughts? Yeah, definitely. Um, if you're not too mechanically inclined, as I've said earlier, then exterior mods can be a way for someone to get into modifying their cars. It's all about what they want. So, bringing back to lowering a car, when it comes to actually doing that, what should we watch out for? Watching out for, um, definitely watch out for those companies that are just out to make money versus rather than making the product itself. There are definitely companies that make springs that aren't the best, could break over time, uh, shocks even too, and some things that are just too low or doesn't add enough of a drop that you might be looking for. Okay. Now, I've seen some really cool rims before. Can I put those just on any car, or are there specific types for different cars? There's definitely specific types. There's different lug patterns. Um, older Hondas use like a four bolt pattern. A lot of newer cars use five or more. So you can't use any wheel, or any new wheel on any other car. You have to make sure it fits that specific lug pattern. So will I gain any benefits from rims besides just looking nice? Well, they do look nice, uh, depending on whether you make them bigger or smaller. Sometimes you can fit on thicker tires, sometimes skinnier tires, depending on what your application is. All right. Uh, so, yes or no? Can exterior mods affect performance? Yes. 